El Monte Korea Tungsten Corporation. On December 7, 1941, a surprise aerial attack on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor was launched by Japan. How did a small country in Asia with no strategic minerals have the ambition to invade the world? If any geologist or resource experts appreciated the importance of the Korean mineral, then world history would have been totally changed. A tungsten mine found in Korea during the Japanese occupation enabled Japan to have the ambition on holding the hegemony beyond the Pacific during World War II by sourcing the critical material for munition from this single mine. Sangdong Mine, the second mission, servicing as the backbone of Korea's economic development. Three years of intensive Korean War between 1950 and 1953 totally destroyed and devastated the country, only leaving ashes and debris. What has driven one of the poorest countries in Asia to become the fifth largest exporter and the 11th largest GDP in the world, boasting the sovereign credit rating two notches above Japan? As the largest tungsten producer in the free world, Korea Tungsten accounted for over 60% of the national export in the 1950s and 60s, giving Korea the phrase, the economy built on tungsten. With over 40,000 people, Sangdong was the capital of the Korean economy and was called the Special Economic District and the Pride of Korea. In the modern industrial world, all that glitters is tungsten. In addition to the constantly widening use in industrial products, the demand of tungsten has been increasing in high-tech technologies such as smartphones, electronic devices with high performance efficiency based on new materials. On the most value-added front of tungsten usage in semiconductors, LED, and LCD, Korea has become the largest consumer in the world, replicating its dominance in the sector worldwide. The world is striving for securing a stable long-term supply of this critical material classified as an endangered species metal by the EU, USA, Russia, China, and Japan. Recently, Korea has joined the race, including tungsten, as one of the top five critical materials in 2018. The reopening of the world's former largest producing mine is going to bring a new era in the tungsten space. Despite mining for decades, Sangdong Mine is assessed to have almost 70 years of economically feasible deposit of 58 million tons, with the average grade of 0.44% that is one of the highest in the world. One of the distinct advantages of Sangdong is the existence of ore body at a mere 45 meters from the portal. In the initial years, this high-grade crown pillar preserved for underground infrastructure protection will be one of the primary targets of excavation. During the years before the mine closure, Numerous exploration drifts and crosscuts were built by Korea Tungsten in preparation for mining footwall and hanging wall ore bodies which had remained unexploited. Existing and well-maintained ventilation, drainage shafts, and exploration and access galleries built by Korea Tungsten have also enabled to save hundreds of millions of dollars and pre-production development time. Since November 2018, underground drift development has been in progress. During the initial development, several multiples of the ore projected under the 43101 resource model has been found and excavated, proving the existence of ore classified as inferred resources, further enhancing the economic viability of the project. Remarkable achievement has been made in the mineral processing as well with over two years of technology collaboration between Almonte and the Korea Institute of Geoscience and Mineral Resources, an unprecedented level of recovery around 90% has been attained. The pilot plant utilizing this metallurgical innovation is close to commissioning at the mine. Immense Upside What is incredible about the Sangdong mine 
is that the present mine represents only a small part of the Shilite belt identified by Korea Tungsten and Corus, representing just two out of the 12 mining concessions. During the drilling program in the 1980s, a new high-grade molybdenum deposit was also discovered by Korea Tungsten and Corus, confirming 17 million tons of 0.4% grade moly, which is the highest grade and largest molybdenum deposit in Korea. This deposit is located only 150 meters below the current tungsten mine and will be developed after the full-scale operation of the Sangdong tungsten mine. The Pride of Korea from the past and for the future. The project's environmental and social care in compliance with the Equator principles and international standards will answer the undivided support from the community for mine reopening and bringing the pride of Korea back to the region. The mine, which had solely fueled the country's economic development, is now returning. This time, with a mission to support Korea's continued dominance in the high-value-added industries. By securing the critical raw material indispensable for the fourth industrial revolution, Sangdong Mine is opening a new chapter in the history of modernized Korea under the flag of Almonte Korea Tungsten. <laughs>